Hello everyone. I'm Captain Devil Soni. And uh, today I'm flying with my first officer Meghna. And uh, this is a training flight. And today we will be learning MCDU. The full form is Multi Purpose Control and Display Unit. All right, sir. And today we will be learning how to fill multi function control and display unit, which is called MCDU. All right, sir. Okay. So Meghna. Uh, when we fill MCDU on Airbus T20, we follow a sequence, oh. and the acronym is DIF syrup. DIF syrup, yes. Okay. So D stands for data. Data. Okay. So we go on data. We press the data key. Right. And uh, out of this, we go to aircraft status. These are called LSK. LSK. These are line select keys. All right. And these are called RSKs, which is right. Select keys. We go to aircraft status. All right. In this aircraft status, we get a lot of information about like what is your engine, your engine model, and your uh, navigation database. So we have to ensure that the database is valid. So like in this example, this database is valid. In case if you find the database is is not valid, then you should contact an engineer so that they can update the database. All right. Okay. So, after data, it's I. After D, it's I. I. Okay. Then we go to init. Okay. Here we fill information like first we fill here, like from where to where you want to go. Let's say you're going from her Delhi to Bangalore. So we fill in. We fill the ECOW identifier, which is in this case it is VIDB to VOBL. Okay. Oh, let's go. We'll put in here. Okay. Then. We fill the alternate aerodrome. So the generally the alternate for Bangalore is Hyderabad or mm. maybe Chennai. So let's example today we are taking um, uh, Hyderabad as an alternate. Will that be okay for the training flight? Yes, sir. Okay, great. So we'll fill V O H S over here. All right, sir. Okay. The next is flight number. Uh, if you see Meghna, all these data which are in Amber are mandatory. Okay. Okay, we have to fill it. Okay, so let's say you are flying uh, Golden Apex flight today, G E zero zero one. I'll fit in here. On that side. Then we fill the cost index. Make no cost index is mentioned in your flight plan. Okay, generally it can varies from in India can varies from in between ten, fifteen to seventeen. Okay, so let's for example today the cost index is fifteen, and I will explain you cost index later. First you will learn uh, you know how to fill the MCDOG. Then cruise flight level, you have to, uh, you know, uh, the cruising flight level, yes, the select up, but yes, okay. So in the flight plan today, let's say our uh, flight level, our cruise flight level is three seven zero. All right. Okay. Then next is slash. We put the slash, and what is the cruise, or what is the temperature at level three seven zero, which will be mentioned in your flight plan. Yes. So for example, let's say I take it uh, for a training purpose. I am putting minus fifty five here. All right. Okay. This is a ground temperature. Okay. So uh, once you get an ATIS, okay, uh, whatever is the ground temperature, you will fit in here. Okay. So let's say for example, uh, currently it is winters in Delhi. So let's sixteen. Sixteen. Okay. I'll take sixteen. Let's make now one sixteen. So uh, Meghna, as we are following the sequence, it's diff syrup. Yeah. So we have done data. Yeah. Then we have done in it. In it. Next is diff F. F. We we'll go to F, which is flight plan. All right. We fill the flight plan, so you take the clearance ATC clearance from Delhi ATC, and Delhi ATC will give you like what runway, what SID, you okay. know, what cruising level right. you will be following. All right. Okay. Then squawk also. All right. Okay. So, but I do have a question. Yes. We have already filled up the cruising level, which was three seven zero. Yes. So then uh, we have to fill it up again. No. Okay. No. So basically, whatever cruising level you will feed now. It's not. It's not that you cannot change during your flight, or you know, yeah. we can obviously change the flight level. Well, all the productions, all the you know, speed calculations, the fuel calculations, based as of now, will be based on the whatever cruising level you have entered. Right. As of now. All right. So. Okay. Good that you have asked us. You know. So we go uh, in flight plan page, and we will again press the LSKs or okay. the left uh, uh, you know keys. 
let's say the ATC have given you a runway today is let's say um I like runway to run a right but unfortunately this is not in this database as of right. now okay but uh, we'll select um one one left today all right so okay with me yeah one one left and then we'll select the SID which also be given by uh, the, the ATC okay the normally at bigger airports the the entire uh, clearance will be given by you know delivery clearance okay so okay so let's say for example you know we will select something so i have inserted um, an SID all right okay so but uh, whenever you uh, okay before that i will to i would like to tell you let's say if you uh, select an SID so whenever you insert anything it's you should cross check first all right okay so you th- this is your navigation display yeah so with your charts with your ipad we just open the sid and cross check whether we whether you know i mean uh, whether all the waypoints are been you know cross check or correct so once it is done then you will insert okay so as i mentioned uh let's say so once you select this let's say what uh, in case uh, you know for the training purpose just to show you i have selected runway 10 So you will see, uh, you will cross check all these waypoints with your charts. Yeah. Once it is verified, yeah. Then you will insert. All right. Okay, that's very important. You know, when we uh, get experienced, you know, and the and the competency really kicks mm. in, and sometimes we just we know that okay, this is Ecrif six uh, Delta Charlie. Just we just insert it. Okay, but I think Bengna, I would like to recommend you, suggest you, you know, uh, you should always cross check. Okay, before inserting, you know, irrespective of your experience. Exactly. Okay. So can you promise me that? Yes, I would. So uh, once uh, at the end of uh, your SID, you have to insert uh, the the route. Okay. Okay. So let's say after Delta Papa four two one, you have to press uh, Airways. Okay. Let's say your Airways is, uh, for example, any any Airways Romeo four six zero or whatever. Okay. So. So once all the airways are uh, you know inserted, then you will put what are the what is the expected runway okay. and arrival in Bengaluru. And obviously this is an expected uh, runway and uh, and arrival. But obviously in a flight you can always change. And once you get uh, you know I mean runway and the arrival from the Bengaluru ATC, you will update. So how does this uh, expected arrival runway help us in the flight planning? So so absolutely, I mean you know I'll appreciate your question. Um, it will give you a better fuel productions and you know a better calculations. Okay. So okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, you know based on you know on your TAF, let's say you know as per your ET at Bengaluru. let's say you're landing after uh, you know 2 hours and 45 minutes so what is the weather saying you know uh, as per the taf what are the, uh, which runways are being supported by the winds so accordingly you can set the hair okay okay then as the as the sequence diff syrup d i f the next is s lovely so s is s stands for secondary flight plan okay so we go on secondary and we we can do a, a first we can do a copy active Okay. okay so there are there are three you know use of secondary flight plan one is uh let's say you you want to plan let's say in case of any emergency you want to come back you know i mean to delhi let's say after take off you have an engine failure engine fire or on some other emergency but the diversion sir or uh, i mean some kind of emergency so i mean to to you know i mean to save your time and everything if you if you prepared your secondary to come back return back and and land in uh, delhi. in delhi so if set it you just have to activate secondary so your one one you know workload is done okay so that is one thing and let's say after take off you want to plan that you know i mean the visibility you know it already the visibility is bad if some emergency happens i cannot come back to uh, you know i mean uh, delhi but in in case of emergency i have to go to you know jaipur let's say that's your take off alternate okay there's one destination alternate there's one is take off alternate okay so then you can fill in secondary daily to jaipur also okay okay that will also save your time and you will be cool at least your one one workers you know just have to press the activate secondary that's one thing 
तो एंड नंबर थ्री यूज ऑफ सेकेंडरी इज लेट से इफ यू लेट से इफ यू हैव एन इंजन आउट प्रोसीजर फ्राम यू नो एनी एयरपोर्ट इफ इच इन इन केस ऑफ डेली इट इज नॉट पर लेट से यू टेकिंग ऑफ फ्राम इम्फाल ओके एंड यू हैव ए इंजन आउट प्रोसीजर फ्राम फ्राम दैट पर्टिकुलर रन वे एंड लेट से टेक ऑफ द इंजन फेल अकर्ड सो वॉट यू टू डू जस्ट प्रेस एक्टिवेट सेकेंडरी फ्लाइट ओके अदरवाइज यू नो then you will be inserting you know i mean you will be changing your route and everything all those things okay so these are the three uh, you know i mean importance of secondary flight plan so uh, megna diff srip yeah. s then is rip r r r stands for radio waves or uh, radio nav correction <laughs> so there you fill what you are or enemies you want to hard to it okay however in 320 it automatically tunes uh, you know the vor which is nearby uh, you know the aircraft yeah the station but if you want to you know i mean hard to know let's say i want to get the signals from delta papa november yeah okay which is a daily vor yes sir and and other side it's delta india golf so uh, the the number one side is my side number two side is your side okay okay so in 320 is like that let's say ra1 is captain RA2 is the uh, you know autopilot one is for captain autopilot two is for the first officer okay, okay. then uh, rip so radio and then again i okay then we go to we press the i again okay but then we press this this arrow okay so we go to in uh, in i then we go to the next page of i so this is called init b init b okay, okay. here we we insert the very important details like what is the zero fuel weight okay what is the zero fuel weight cg and how much is the fuel okay and and then this computer will calculate what is our gross weight what is our take off weight what will be a landing weight okay all those calculation will be done by the them gs okay So okay, then after that it's P, P. diff strip, then we go to P, which is performance. In the performance on the your EFB, when you put your uh, weight details like what is your takeoff weight, what is the weather, what runway, what intersection, you know what is temperature, what is winds, okay, whether runway is dry or wet, okay, all this information once you feed, then you will get the takeoff performance. in the form of like what will be your v1 vr v2, v2 you know the, the flaps what will be your ths setting so what is ths yes so ths is a, a trimmable horizontal stabilizer okay. so based on um, the center of gravity of the entire you know aircraft uh, what should be the ths setting which you will set by using this trim wheel okay okay so Let's for example, the today your speeds are V one is one four zero. This is this is just an example. This is for a training purpose. This is one forty two. Let's say if today um, uh, as per your EV takeoff performance calculation, flap one is the most optimum configuration today. Okay. Okay. Then let's say point three down is the teacher setting, and flex is sixty degrees centigrade. Okay. Mina, uh, do uh, do you have any idea about flex temperature? No, sir. Okay, okay, I will explain you. Okay, don't worry. Let's say um, that the maximum takeoff weight is seventy three point five tons for three twenty, but today the weight is let's say only sixty eight tons. Okay, there there is no point in taking off with the full thrust of this Airbus three twenty. Hmm. Okay, because the weight is lesser. Okay, then the min max take off weight. So why do give unnecessary or uh, you know I mean uh, uh, stress on the engine when it's not required? Okay, so we can take off with a less power. Okay. Okay, because the weight is lesser today. All right. Is that clear? Yes. So the flex temperature is uh, is uh, is is a temperature where um, you know the power is uh, is slight is slightly lighter or slightly i mean lesser than the than the full thrust required okay okay so then the strip p in the last is diff strip p again p 
this is progress page yeah. okay so here you can see we we can put like vidp 11 left so this gives you a bearing and distance from this particular position okay. in this case it is a delhi 11 left runway okay sure, so uh hi i hope mingna that uh, you know i mean uh, you must have got the sequence so you know i mean we have to uh, just uh, use this acronym dips rib okay and that's the uh, sequence we follow and anything you would like to uh, add or uh, um... uh not really sir you explained really nicely and i hope i can include this in my flight training definitely definitely good luck thank you sir thank you so much um, i would uh, uh, love to fly with such first officers uh, you know quite often and if you're willing to really know something about any systems or any display or any related to flying please comment below and uh, in the next uh, topic uh, i will be explaining what is what is what is these two screens which is called ecam okay. in in a bus yep thank you